12.27 in the morning, ignoring the skeleton behind me. Let's talk Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh, this is just me being unhinged. I don't know. I probably should have made a video on this, like, uh, nearly a week ago when this news first dropped. Tetsuya Nomura, the creative director of the Kingdom Hearts series, did an interview and it got translated recently. Uh, he's talking about retiring and shit, man. There's actually some really cool... Hang on. There's some really cool tidbits in there. I just... I gotta... I gotta fucking... Yes, that is my skeleton. And yes, that's because it's almost that time. It's almost that time. That means I'm gonna be wearing that hat. This... Fucking... This cloak. But I'm thinking of getting a mask. Um, Jack might have a mask this year. Maybe cover the whole thing. Boop. Just because. That's how you spell his name. I'm just gonna Google. I'm just gonna Google his name and the word interview. Yeah, KH13 has the information. I go to that website if you. I'm gonna like peruse some of the stuff. I'll leave a link in the description to their post about it. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, what's, uh. No, we're gonna skip a little bit. Um, yeah, in Kingdom Hearts, there's lots of foreshadowing elements that span the series. How do you keep up with all that? Uh, Tetsuya Nomura said, uh, they write notes, they write lots of notes, but they also have uh, to make sure the staff remembers, and they, Tetsuya Nomura likes to watch YouTube videos on the Kingdom Hearts franchise to help keep up with the lore. Hang on, hang on, we're just gonna... Not that far, not that far. That's better, okay. Um, play, watch videos like playthroughs and reviews. Um, I thought I saw movement out of the corner of my eye in the camera when I wasn't moving. I'm scared right now. But we don't have time to be scared. Kingdom Hearts. So yeah, I think that's really interesting that, like... Yeah, I sometimes have trouble keeping up with my own lore, so I watch videos on it. We have helped Tetsuya Nomura keep the lore going good. Um... None of that. That's not... More interesting tidbits. Uh, yeah, it's difficult to keep up with the long-running manga series. Oh, yeah, just as difficult, um, just as it's difficult to keep up with, uh, long-running manga, uh, from the beginning, Kingdom Hearts is, like, has so many titles that it seems to have the same problem. What are your thoughts in regards to new fans trying to get into the series? Um, yeah. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 4 and Kingdom Hearts Missing Link are supposed to be like a reset for the series. Like, starting, like, if you, like, it's not going to be a complete reboot. It's just like, okay, here's the new launching off point. You don't have to play anything before in order to understand. You really, you could just, here's the characters, we're going to start with them, and boom. Ooh. Uh, and that's why there's the new logo for Kingdom Hearts 4. It's like, oh, that's that's what the logo is about. Um, and then he even asks, so that's... Ah, so that's what the change of the logo is about. Uh, to which, like, yeah, if you remember how Kingdom Hearts 3 ends, you know, Sora ends up, uh, like, 
like how he is what happens with Sora as because he's resetting the story in a way so Kingdom Hearts 4 is easier to get into than before uh I'm sort of verbatim reading while also paraphrasing a little bit if you like the series he says if you like the series you'll feel that like this is it but he's also hoping to get new as many new people playing as possible and and this is really interesting in the beginning of Kingdom Hearts there's a monologue that goes, I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? What does that mean? This is, the answer is interesting. The name Quadratum didn't exist at the time, but the idea was there. It was a long preparation for the day when I would reach this point. He's been planning Quadratum since the Fucking beginning, man. And he's only recently been able to. That's fucking mind blown. Yeah, foreshadowing that it took twenty years. Um, then do you see a future where the Kingdom Hearts series is completed? And this, this is what set the internet ablaze when it comes to Kingdom Hearts. If this isn't a dream, then I only have a few years left until I retire. Again translations so a few might not be translated properly there take that little bit with like a like okay maybe not a few because he wants to do um th that's why this next part is why i'm saying maybe not a few um and it's looking like will i retire or will i finish the series first he's making kingdom hearts 4 with the intention of it being a story that leads to the conclusion. And people were like confused about that. Like, does it mean Kingdom Hearts 4 is the end? No. Kingdom Hearts 4 is the beginning of the ending of the series. Kingdom Hearts 4 is, uh... It's, uh... I didn't mean to hit that. It, it's the Lost Master's arc. Kingdom Hearts 4 cannot be an arc. It is one game. So it's going to be multiple games, and one of which I think will be um, Verum Rex. But um, it's going to be a, a, a few games, at least. Um, and then the series is done, and I'm hoping he sticks with it to the end. I know he said he wants to... Uh, it's just, it's supposed to like lead to the conclusion. Would he be there when the series crosses the finish line? And and also, Kingdom Hearts is looking like it's gonna come to an end. And I think that's okay. I think it's good. Um. I think it needs to eventually end. I always thought Kingdom Hearts would outlast me. To be honest, <laughs> I thought it was gonna go decades from now and I was just gonna you know be old like I just played Kingdom Hearts 69 that was the great one and now it's they're planning another one Kingdom Hearts birth dreams the sleeping in the distance I don't know I'm mixing titles together three five two eight six nine days <laughs> Remember the memory cards, the chain them together in the melody. I don't know. I'll be a senile old man still talking about Kingdom Hearts years from now. It's like, did I ever tell you about the great Keyblade War? I was, I was a young man then. It was difficult. We, on the phone, we had to... You young fangled children with your technology now, you don't know about the Great Keyblade War. That face so stupid. <laughs> but the Great Keyblade War. And I, do you remember Phantom the Wise? Now, Ansem Seeker of Darkness. I, get, I actually got the Ansem's confused. I fought Ansem Seeker of Darkness before there even was a Xehanort. Or Zebnis. I was there before a class of oblivion. It's like, Grandpa, what the fuck are you talking about? It's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, he's talking about Kingdom Hearts again. This, this random tangent is over. Just the senile old man talking about parts of the Caribbean and other nourish. 
The Jack Sparrow. I remember when Disney fucked him over. The Amber heard something. She heard it good. And she shat in that bed. <laughs> this has become me acting like, like when I'm a senile old man. Jim and Pam, that was it was my OTP. I tell you what, the one true pair of balls. Just lick my lips a lot up. Remember the time that uh, the doctor was headless? Which actually, I kind of referenced a joke from when the ninth doctor was regenerating, but. I remember when the Steven Universe was a thing, and the Crystal Gems, and the, and then there was Gravity Falls with the book. I have the book of Bill. It's sitting right there. This special gold edition. Not signed, though. And I remember all the random stuff. I don't know what this bit. I'm excited. It's heartbreaking to think that Kingdom Hearts is... The fuck is this? An ad just popped up. Go away, ad. No one loves you. No one will ever love you, ad. You're an unloved ad. But anyways, um... Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it, it's... It's bittersweet thinking that it's... He's already planning the ending now. But... Uh, as I've said... In a few different, like, group chats or Discord or whatever. I think it's good. Really? I like the cartoon characters. Yeah, I can do that. I have a hair. I have a hair. Uh, it's good because you don't want them to just keep going and going just for the sake of making more games. He has a story he wants to tell. He has an ending to that story. He's been planning Quadratum. This is all a part of a plan. It's not just, oh, let's just make another game because that's what the fans want. That makes us money. So, it sucks that it's ending, but it's good that it's ending before it gets stale. You know? Like, or they're not gonna keep making them just for the, the fucking profit. I like that. I like that a lot. Um. Yeah. I forgot what I was gonna say next. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Kingdom Hearts series coming to an end. I gotta send myself a link of the uh, interview from KH13 so that I don't forget to put it in the thing, the, th the description. I'm probably not uploading this tonight because it's 2.40 now and uh... And I don't want to wait for that. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just... <clears throat> no, that one That one was a funny one where I just did just know that was so funny. I'm so funny. Straight face. And scene. Um... I completely forgot what I was saying. Kingdom Hearts, I'm excited that it's coming to an end. All good things come to an end. Like with the office with the the office, they were like, let's let's just the, you know what, let's do one more season where we're I think this feels right they the cast and crew are like this feels right. We're ending it on season nine. And also we're gonna do some episodes we didn't get a chance to do that we always wanted to do so, you know, ending a show or a, whatever, a series, on your own terms, that's, I think, really good. 
Um, so... It sucks that it's gonna end. But it's good that he's ending it his way. Instead of, oh, let's just keep going because... Money! Because we can! Uh, and I'm repeating myself now. Yay! Wait, sorry. i try that again. I'm repeating myself now. Yay! <laughs> I, I'm just showing off the different little things I can do, like... Yay! Or my old man voice! Yay! Um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts will be over, and that sucks, but it's good, and you bet I'm going to be, if, with as many of the games I can that are coming up, I'm going to be pre-ordering them. Am I lightheaded? Ooh, something just happened. Hang on, let me take a sip of my, uh, empty drink. Nothing. So I get free drinks from work. Sorry, another tangent real quick. I get free drinks from work, so I've just been filling this up with like half of a cup from each day. And now I have a bunch of uh, orange cream soda, cherry cream soda, and vanilla root beer. Yeah, I used to mix a lot of drinks, actually. I would, uh, <laughs> when I was a child... I would just mix random drinks together. Um, tea, Kool-Aid, pop one, two, three, four, five. I just mixed drinks, maybe some juice in there. I just mixed shit together because I liked it. And I think it affected the color of my shit. Anyways. <laughs> just... It affected the color of my shit, I say casually. Uh, but... Yeah. Like, like with Gravity Falls. He had two or three seasons and maybe a movie in mind. Alex Hurst did. Um, and that's... Now what he seems was supposed to be the season two finale, if there was going to be a season three, but because people guessed the twist at the end of that episode, see, I'm being very vague, because hush, hush, no, no spoilers if you haven't seen Gravity Falls, it's been over for like, eight years now? Eight years? That show, damn, that show ended eight years ago. Anyways, being vague. Um, because that twist would, was guested, guested, because that, and that twist was guessed early, um, people, not the whole twist, just part of it, but people saw that twist coming, so they're like, oh, okay, we're just gonna, but also, he, like, put that twist at the middle of that s season two, and then, like, ended it on season two. Which, we could have gotten more time with a specific character if it wasn't like that. But, like, people who were theorizing this stuff were really smart. But he also faked something to throw people off the scent of that. Like, oh, hey, look at this um, leak that happened. And he was really smart about it, too. He faked a leak. You gotta look up Alex Hirsch um, fake leak. It's actually a really interesting story. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's... He's fucking brilliant with that shit. But yeah, uh, he ended it on his terms. He had a story, he had what he wanted to tell, and everything he's done since then has just sort of been like little bits of lore thrown in. Like, you know what? I kind of want to add this bit of lore. That's what Journal 3 did. That's what the Book of Bill did. What this website, this is not a website.com dot com did it's a fucking website name this is not a website dot com dot com you have to spell out the word dot for the first dot com and it's fucking <laughs> Alex Hirsch I, you're probably not but if you're watching this you fucking rock 
You're a madman. I fucking love it. Um, yeah, people ending their shows on their terms. You know, they finish their story when they want to finish it, not because... Like with um, Stephen Amell, he's like, you know what? Season 8, well, let's finish Arrow. Or I think uh, Grant Gustin with The Flash is like, you know what? I want. I think it's time. I want to stop playing The Flash now. He's. I think he loved. I'm pretty sure he said he's loved it and he he will miss it. But I think he was he was done. He has a, a child. Or Matt Pat. It's not really ending a series, but like Matt Pat retiring because like this is it. It's time for me to go out. Not really the same as like continue because it's not story based with theories. But you get what I'm saying. They're like not. They're just ending it when they want to, not just dragging it on because they can. Um. Yeah. So I have high respect for Tetsuya Nomura for like, yes, I have an ending in mind and I want to go to that point and then be done. And Disney, the Disney, listen, listen, hey, Disney, Disney, listen to me. Respect the ending. Respect the ending. Let that ending be the ending. I know you have a thing of letting things Phineas and Ferb come back. I know you like to bring things back sometimes. Um, I know if it's really popular and everyone loved it, you want to bring it back. Robert Downey Jr. Um, do not, when Kingdom Hearts is over, do not bring it back. Let it be done. Could you do... Well, I'm not saying don't make new stuff in the same world with the name and different characters. But when Sora's story is over, let Sora's story be over. Okay? Now, if you're doing new characters and they're on their adventure and Sora makes like a quick appearance... Sure, let Sora have a quick appearance. It's like, yeah, hey guys, it's, it's me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back to my happy ending. I say happy ending. I don't know what to turn tomorrow. I don't know what he's gonna do. I'm not saying he gives sad endings, but like, <laughs> King of Hearts three ending. <laughs> Fucking that shit, man. <sighs> Anyways, um, don't fucking mess with the ending let that be over um I know people want speaking of sorry wrong way I know people want Supernatural to come back I've been watching it I'm nearly done with the show I've got like 24 episodes left that's 4 left in this current season I'm watching it, and then the 20 in the next season which, if I watch it on my schedule, I'll be finishing it on Saturday. Um, I had to remember my thoughts for a sec there. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I forgot it. I lost it. Halloween. Oh, yeah. Um, they want the show to be brought back. But, like, if something has an ending, let that ending be the ending. I know people want The Office to come back. It, I wouldn't mind a reunion special thing, but don't bring the show back. If something has an ending, let that be the ending. You can do a one-off thing where the characters get back together for one little fun thing. I will say I'm glad they gave Student Universe an epilogue series because the ending felt a little rushed of the initial show. Then they gave a movie and then they're like, all right, well, let's... But there's unanswered questions with Steven Universe, sort of. There's more. I feel like that world can be explored more. Just yeah, Gravity Falls can be explored more, but the story of that summer is over. So it's not like some of these things can't be brought back. 
But like, and same thing with like Phineas and Ferb. It, you know what? That was the one summer. There's always the next summer. Kind of the same thing with Gravity Falls. <laughs> Maybe not quite the same. <laughs> Those are vastly different shows. Adventure Time. They've explored the world of Fiona and Cake. And yes, um, I forgot I was going to call him Stephen. Finn, and I'm, I think Jake? But Finn definitely has made an appearance. But, like, it's not about him and his story. That that series is over. It's it's okay to let something be done. It's okay for things to come to an end. Um, I was about to get emotional here, man. Because things have to come to an end. It is... It was the doctor, the twelfth doctor, Peter Capaldi, who said everything ends and it's always sad. But everything also starts again and that's always happy. Um This is this was a video about Kingdom Hearts, right? <laughs> I here I am like twenty four minutes later talking about some other random shit. But just my main message, Disney, let Sora's story be... Like with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yugi Moto's story from the original series, he his story is ended. They made other series, and while, yeah, characters made appearances, they didn't really continue anything they didn't need to. Did they make a movie years later? Was it a fun little... A fun little one-time adventure? Yes. But they didn't, like... Let's drag another... Few episodes or a season or two... Out of this. No, they let it be done. Sometimes things come to an end, and that's okay. It sucks, it hurts, but it's okay. It's okay to be sad about it, too. This is, this is your therapy session with me. Uh, some random schmuck on the internet. And Hollywood, Hollywood, I know you want your money. But, like, just don't bring a thing back if it doesn't need to be brought back. So, as things end, and that's okay. Maybe that's me coping with the ending of Kingdom Hearts. I I love Kingdom Hearts. You guys know that. I've dedicated a whole month on my channel. I have a f tattoo. I've got a fucking keyblade. I've got a Sora wig and costume waiting in my garage for me to lose weight so I can put it on. Not the wig so much, but the, the costume. Um... Kingdom Hearts is... Kingdom Hearts is part of what made me who I am today. But, uh... When it's time for it to end... I will... I will... Accept that with a bittersweet feeling in my heart... And tears in my laughter. Um... Or laughter in my crying. Either way, it's... It's gonna hurt. But it's gonna be okay. Which is... Kind of a great phrase for some things in life. Losing... The... I was about to make this a little bit too real. I was gonna say losing people. For things coming to an end. For things coming to an end in life. It's... It's gonna hurt, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> goofy little joke at the end of the video, cause I don't like being serious. I don't like being serious. Let's let's lighten the mood uh, a little bit. Uh. 
Halloween's coming. I'm gonna do some Halloween stuff. Maybe do a few reviews, you know. I did this a few years ago. I say a few years ago. I reviewed this, I think, nine years ago on the channel. I remember that because that was that was the only year I managed to do 31 videos in the month of October. Nearly a video a day. I had to double down a few days, but I did 31 videos in a month. That was, I'm actually kind of impressed with the fact that I actually got that done. But yeah. Um, I have a video I recorded last year. It's going to, I'm going to be saying things in that video that pertain to the year. Because uh, <laughs> if you remember, last October was like... We were, there was still a sh specific strike going on, so, yeah. Um, Halloween. This stuff is coming. Streaming games. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. I, uh... I don't know where this video went, but but if you don't want to be a square, then get yourself some focus. I just I want to end on a happy note. I want to end on a happy note. You know what? Let's let's get him in. Let's get him in. Come on, come on, come on! Get get your get your bony self in here. That's not an appropriate joke. I swear. Get your mind out of the gutter, if you think like that. If they thought it, okay. Shit, he's way too big for this. Okay. God. God bless it all. He's... He's still too big for the frame. Okay, okay. Get in here, get in here. So... What I want to do is have a cloak on him and then have my hand in the cloak and just puppet tear him and have him talk like, Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. How about you? I'm doing great. Uh, his name is Comic Sans, by the way. Uh, my brother named him Comic Sans for obvious reasons. Actually, that wasn't your voice. This <laughs> is I, Comic Sans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a little preview of uh, some random stuff that's going to be happening next month. Okay, he's laying down now. I'll put the cloak back on him later. Um, and the hat. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do some Halloween stuff. Might, might do some reviews. I don't review Casper. I don't know if I did a review of Casper on my channel yet. I know I did Adam's Family. Maybe some Halloween reviews if I didn't get to those. Yeah, we're going to have some fun. I remember... I used to be so scared of horror movies, and now just like, woo! That was on purpose, by the way. This is this was about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so Kingdom Hearts is ending. It's gonna be great. We're gonna go. We're gonna go out with a bang. It's gonna be fun. We're all gonna love it. I know some people that are like done with Kingdom Hearts after three. I wonder if this changed their mind. Like, oh, it's got an ending. Well, maybe I'll check it out if it's like going towards something so yeah uh thanks for watching i think you know what i'm about to say next that's what i like to end my videos with <laughs> very subtle sound uh is it outward zoomed all the way yeah may your heart be your guiding key Bye-bye.